Welcome back to a very special time. That's right, Word Rescue Time, part three of the Epic Word Rescue Trilogy. Oh, I know. It's very exciting. Yes, it's time for more Word Rescue. I thought it. we need a game to replace Indiana Jones. Apologies for the sporadic uploads. That big assignment that was due today has finally been handed in. And I'm basically free for like two weeks now, so I can sort myself out and get uploads back to a regular schedule. Yes. But I was going to sit down and do XCOM. I did so about an hour ago. Then the power went out. Yeah. That's right. Power went out. So now it's like 11 o'clock and I'm like, quickly do something short. So I've decided let's do Word Rescue instead. My name remains Kilkakon. It is Kilkakon. No, oh no, that is not me. I, um, no, don't do that. Uh, quit. Yeah, yeah, quit. Um, DR. I know. Stop, let me type, program. Why are you not letting me type? Yeah, oh no, it's typing gobbledygook. What are you doing? Thank you. Why? What is going on? C, we got a C. Q, V, no. What, what is word rescue? You've stuffed up DOS now. Thank you, word rescue. Hey, we got it back again. Control space, fixed it. Woo! Okay, DR. Where's the save? DR slash W. Um, there we are. Dell, click a cut. Thank you. It's gone. Let's now play Word Rescue properly. You didn't see any of that. At all. Ah. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, Word Rescue Part 3. The Epic Trilogy. This is a more uh, haunted episode. But yes. Um, so yeah, sorry about XCOM. It will happen though. I'll probably get some time to do it tomorrow. And uploads will continue as normal. Also trying to pick out a good section for the Bible, which um, has been suggested. I think I'll go with it. And I'm also way behind on emails, and I'll do them later. I am a boy. I've, I know this. I know I'm a boy. The story is the same. The mean old grizzles they can't read, and no one else can now because they don't want us to read either. And various amounts of a mix between semi-cute, semi-slimy creatures are now stealing all the words out of the books. Benny Bookworm needs your help. We need you to stop the Gruzzles. He needs you to reunite the words with their meanings. And once we join all the words of their pictures, Benny will magically put them back into the books. As you can see, Benny has magical powers, like all bookworms. Then he will reveal a key that will open the door to the next dimension. But we must find the door. Benny is your friend. That's right, Benny is your friend, and he will protect you. But... Stay away from those gruzzles. If they catch you, you will lose any words that you have. If you get too close to a gruzzle, point him out to Benny by pushing the space bar. Benny will slide him, or it, and then, no problem. See, it's very, um, very Jonathan Morris, isn't it? No problem. But be careful, Benny has only a few buckets of slime. Each time we make a mistake and try to draw in the wrong picture of a word, a new gruzzle will appear. We can push W to see a list of words in their pictures or H for help. Rejoice! It's time to play. But on the hard difficulty setting, we can't play on any sissy baby level. Because Word Rescue should always be played on hard. It's the most frustrating way to play it. The mystery word is mailbox, and we have a full bucket of slime. And our brush is our... is our destiny. And we're already straight with the communist books. We, this, this game does not beat around. This is the final episode. Oh, I did not want to get that slime. Oh well. We have the brush. 
No way I could have avoided that. Goodbye bye Grazzle. We have a razor. We must find the razor. What is the razor? Well... We've got a lot of books though, it's a good start. Do we have an M? It's an X. We do not need the X. If we complete the mystery word, we'll get a full refill. Oh, it's a ghost. Spooky. Very spooky. The sunburnt child is indeed embarrassed at the sight of this ghost. There's the M for male. What that means is we can exploit that whenever we need a full bucket of slime. Epa. Gotcha. The first time I did this, I actually forgot to hit control on F5. It ended badly. That's it. Recordings have not gone very fluently of late, but we're getting there. <laughs> we have all the books! Woo! We need to find the plant. That's not a plant. Where's the plant? Any plants over here? Mm -hmm. Plant. Mm -hmm. Get excited about plants. If you're not excited, just watch Wally. You'll get excited about plants. Okay. Maybe the plant is over here. There's the plant. Cool. Now we need the O. And the final letter in our mystery word of mailbox is X. We have the full bucket of slime. Get excited. This is word rescue. Those who are familiar with my channel will know that Word Rescue has often been a bit of a favourite for just nonsensical behaviour. Trust me, you don't know the half of it. But we're going to keep going with Word Rescue. Find the pod, and there's the pod. And find the mailbox, and there's the mailbox. There we go. We need a brush, because I forgot to get the hairs out of my razor, and now there's giant whale-sized hairs deep implanted within my razor. I'd need the skill of an octopus to get them out if it wasn't for the pod and the brush that I have sent to me from eBay in my mailbox. I was completely unprepared for that. <laughs> That's the message of the day. That's another regular feature of Word Rescue. Alright. Cool, let's get in this door. The Haunted Condo! That is our next level. We need to find the disc. Can you find the disc? There's a gruzzle. That's a dig. Ah. Disc. Gruzzle. The tenting of all these buckets of slime. It's not going to get that frequent. I think that is meant to be a disc. Wow, that's an old B-Drive disc. Can't beat the classics. Wow. Disc. Disc is also a mystery word. In the haunted condo, we need to find a canoe. Gruzzles, left, right, and centre. Where is the canoe? The canoe of dreams? Here is the canoe. And D for disc and a gruzzle. Now we need to cut things out. Like a small child. Ha! Gruzzles. Next we need to dig. It's important to dig. Trust me, these words will get more taxing. This level seems to be rather easy though. Level se the game seems to be taking a slight bit of kindness to us at this stage, but trust me, it's fully capable of deploying very cheap locations for enemies. Woo! The map. Let us find a map. Let me guess, it's got America on it. How did I know? It is a map of the world. Absolutely. Now, let's pick up this vase. Where is the vase? Here is the vase. Come on down, Benny Bookworm. I once found one of my old discs. It contained a picture of a canoe. However, I then decided to cut up the disc so no one would find it. I then buried the remains and dug a hole. But unfortunately, my parrot was watching and it provided a map 
that allowed investigators to find it, as well as my Vargs. That's another message of the day. You got two. How does that make you feel? Makes you feel awesome. Makes me feel awesome. Well, well, let's have a sneak peek of the next dimension. The secret passengers. Oh, they're secret. There's a grozzle. Question marks everywhere. Ghosts that don't seem to really do any damage. Another great mysteries. Oh, whoa, that's that's cheap. When we come back, word rescue.